Welcome back to uh, Native American Tribes of Texas. This is the second part. Uh, hopefully you've watched the first part. Uh, this is the second part. Uh, in this second part, we will be dealing with the Southeastern Tribes of Texas. Uh, in the Southeastern Tribes of Texas, we deal primarily with three. Uh, the Caddo's, uh, Caddo's, a lot of people uh, know about the Caddo's, mainly for two reasons. One, you uh, hear about, uh, you know, Caddo Mills, uh, you hear about uh, uh, other things that are named uh, Caddo. Uh, there's the Attica Ponds. Uh, again, if I butcher these Indian tribe names, I do apologize. These are not the one, you know, some of the ones you say on a regular basis. And then there's the Wichita. Uh, and so basically, most people, uh, most of the Wichita, not very prominent in Texas, uh, Caddo, and the other one, Attica Puns. Attica Puns. Uh, so basically, uh, if you could say that name, good for you. If not, your kids will enjoy a little, uh, basically, entertainment. So let us begin by talking about the Caddo's. Um, they are part of a mound-building culture. They're actually, this is probably one of the most advanced Native American cultures in Texas. Uh, the, they built these large mounds. Uh, that they used for ceremonies, they used for uh, food. Uh, basically, here's an artist rend rendition of the types of mounds that, uh, based on descriptions by early explorers, based on uh, other things, what the type of they, uh, what the types of stuff that they did. They were part of this organization that that was uh, that went as far as the Mississippi River. Uh, and so basically, uh, these are, are groups of Native Americans who uh, traded on a regular basis. They united in times of war. Uh, so they united uh, on a, a, like I said, a regular basis. Uh, their religion, their chief also served as their religious leader. And for most of your Caddo, they believe that... Um, their leader spoke directly to the creator. They believed in a single creator that had created everything, but there were also other minor gods. Uh, and like I said, uh, the god spoke to the people through the chief. The chief would relay what was going on, um, what was going to happen, what they needed to do to ensure that good times happened, that bad times didn't. Uh, and so the chief... Uh, was a big part in their society. Again, like most tribes of this uh, area, the what we call the Great Plains, uh, they are hunter and gatherers, deer, small animals, uh, because their territory was along uh, major rivers. They did fish. They do garden and uh, and have crops because their territory is so vast, and they uh, and the Caddo shared everything within this confederation. There were some tribes that actually were uh, just basically uh, farmers. So they planted corn, beans, squash, uh, and sunflower seeds based on the uh, the season. Their housing was unique. They built these large cone-shaped buildings, and just like the two tribes that we've talked about, the Kulian Tekans and the Karakawas, they, uh, to the Kanos too, uh, could, were easily able to uh, destroy their um, their huts and uh, move them from location to location. Men. Uh, and this is unique for the society, uh, uh, for a society like this. The men worked alongside the women. Uh, there were some women who went out to hunt, there were, uh, and, but the men also worked in the fields, uh, traded with other Indian groups. They, they had a unique economic system, uh, one that almost resembled, uh, almost uh, resembled uh, things that we see in, in modern times. 
Um, and uh, just like the Karakawas, they do tattoo to their bodies, and they were brilliant craft workers as well. Uh, most of your caddos are lived. Uh, uh, there's the Atacapan Indians lived uh, south of the Caddo Indians, divided into two different groups. So they are uh, just like the Caddos, a sort of confederacy. The two Indian tribes that this Indian group have are the Bidais and the Akokaisas. Uh, again, I don't say these names very well. Uh, so here's what we uh, artist renditions of these two uh, tribes are: the Bidaiis and the Akokasas. And I always say it different the second time. They live in a lived in piney woods regions of Texas. Built permanent houses uh, because of the region they were in. Uh, hunted uh, when in season, uh, the different animals that were in season, uh, and then grew corn. Most of them will live, uh, are the, uh, and that was the, excuse me, the uh, Bidaisis, and then the Akokisas. Uh, they're going to live in camps. They didn't have permanent settlements, so they were hunter gatherers. They lived on uh, the Galveston Bay during the summer, so they had a summer camp uh, and a winter camp. Uh, they did very little farming, uh, and because of the region they're in, you're going to see uh, bear, deer as their primary meat source, uh, and fish because they live in the Galveston Bay. Uh, and so just like the uh, Karinkawas, they will dig out uh, trees and make uh, canoes out of them. Uh, and then because of the area, they moved inland uh, during the fall and winter uh, and lived in dome-shaped uh, brush huts covered with uh, bear skin. Right? There's the type of canoes they had. There is the uh, huts. And uh, basically traded dry fish with other tribes. Most likely because they did very little farming, they are trading uh, for vegetables to eat. And then the Wichita Indians, they are your, uh, a northeastern uh, Texas tribe for, for a little while, but then they're going to uh, uh, move on to uh, Oklahoma and Kansas. Uh, joined other Indians for protection, mainly your uh, Tala Coens, your Wacos, and obviously uh, Wichita's. They are most. They are shorter and darker than most other native uh, tribes. We do know from evidence that they tattooed the had tattoos around their eyes and faces, kind of like a raccoon. Uh, it, at one time, we do know that they were farmers. That they planted corn, pumpkin, squash, melons, and plum trees. Eventually, we do know from evidence that they will uh, become hunters after getting horses from the Kiowas. And because of this, they have to, they become a, a new, uh, they get a new source of food in the bump, uh, buffalo. And this would uh, basically be their meat source during the winter and fall harvest. Well, during the summers, they are probably planting your corn, pumpkin, squash, melons, and plum trees. Uh, and the thing you've got to remember is that the horse is the single most important animal on the uh, plains because it's the horse that allows them uh, the travel they need to uh, other areas. These are the uh, tribes that you see living in uh, teepees during the hunting se it season in the winter. And mainly because uh, of the fact is that you can build a fire inside the teepee because there's a little opening at the top uh, for the smoke to get out. It keeps them warm. Uh, and the fact that you're using buffalo skin to uh, basically cover the teepee. So it's kind of really insulated and very warm. 
uh, return to their villages during the spring, summer, and fall, so they abandoned their permanent settlement where they did their farming, and then uh, moved to their hunting uh, season territory. Um, most consider Wichita tribes Plains Indians rather than Southeastern Indians, um, but, uh, and mostly because once they move up to uh, Kansas and uh, Oklahoma, that is where they stay. Again, here is a, a look at your different tribes. Again, the Kulian Tekans here down in south, uh, southwestern Texas, the Karankawas along the Gulf Coast, the uh, Attica Pines again along the, along the Gulf Coast, uh, and then the Caddo's, the East Texas, Wichita. Uh, Wichita is near present-day Dallas. Their territory concerned uh, present-day Dallas. Um, so, basically, Indian tribes, these, uh, for the area that we live in, for North Texas, the, uh, the Caddo's and the Wichita are, mo are your primary Indian tribes around this area. Uh, and uh, for the most part, we do see a lot of uh, people having excavations in this uh, area, especially when they find uh, like uh, arrowheads and other significant uh, findings. Uh, in the next, uh, uh, next video, we will deal with the tribes uh, out in the West.